Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today we are going to see the different commands that we can use to run our tests and the different options we have. Like, how can we run all the tests? How can we run specific tests? How can we run in a headless mode, mode or a headed mode? How do we run a specific test from a, a test file? Uh, how can we use multiple workers? How can we run in parallel? How can we debug our tests? So let's get started. And we are going to see how to run the tests, all the commands with options. And then I will have a quiz. I will share a link for quiz in the description of this video. So you can take the quiz and check your knowledge and do let me know your score in the comment section. And if you have any questions, you can let me know if you have any message, you can write your message in the comment section below and I will reply to you. And in case you feel the speed of the video is slow, you can go to the video player settings and increase the speed from there. So with that, let's get started and let us see the commands. And for this, I have already opened my VS code and this is the project. This is the project. Uh, this is the playwright project uh, we created in the last session by using the NPM commands. So you can see all the tests are here, all this project structure is already created. Now, uh, here we have these tests already added as sample tests. So if you go to the test folder, here we have all these added. And now I will uh, say, I will use all these commands and let me show you. The first command is npx playwright test. And this command will run all the tests in your test folder. Now the test folder is this one. This is where we have all our tests. So I will open the terminal. You can go to the terminal and say new terminal or press control J on your keyboard and it opens the terminal. And here I will say, and you can see I am on the project folder by default. It opens in the project folder. So I will say npx playwright and I will say test and hit enter and this will run all the test files in that in the test folder and as of now we have a single test file so it is running that and you can see it is running three tests using one worker that means it is running that test with uh, on all the browsers that is chromium webkit and firefox and it is using one worker so one worker means it will run sequentially one after the other and it is done it says all three passed and it took approximately 15 seconds and we have uh, got our report as well and if you want to see the report you can directly go to the playwright report folder here and it will be a html report and you can open it so i can do a right click and say reveal in file explorer it will open the folder with the report and then you can open the report from here or you can directly run this command npx playwright show report and this will run and show the report on the browser so if i run this command you can see the report is here it's an html report it will show all your tests here and you have the filters here if you want to see all passed failed etc then we can also filter by uh, writing some name of our test and you can see this single test was executed on chromium firefox and webkit and this is the approximate time taken and you can go and check any of the tests and see all the details now as of now we have not yet started writing our test in this session i'm showing you all the options all the ways you can run the test and then in the coming session we will learn step by step how to write the tests so you can see all these details are here every step with the time taken all the details are here so i will go back to my vs code and i will press control c and y to quit this and i will say clear to clear all these logs so we have seen this command npx playwright test now if you want to use multiple workers and run in parallel you can say hyphen hyphen workers and give the worker count so i can say with this command i'm pressing the top arrow on my keyboard to bring up the earlier commands and here along with the command npx playwright test i will say workers and i will say three so that means now all the three browsers the test on all the three browser will run in parallel and you can see it is all running in parallel and it will save us some time now in this case the time 
difference may not be very much because it's a single test we are running but when you have like multiple tests you will see the time difference so you can see as of now there is not much difference it is 13 seconds but when we have a lot of tests you will see this time difference so you can increase the number of workers and run in parallel then if you want to run a specific file you can give the location or name of the file so i can say uh, let me clear the screen I will go back to the earlier command. So here I will say npx playwright test. And now I want to run a specific test file. So I will go to that folder that is test folder. And the test file name is example spec.js. This is the file. So if I run like this, it will run that particular test file only. And you can see it is running that test file. Then if you want to run specific files from a folder, you can give the names like this. So like we had mentioned a single file, you can mention multiple files as well. Then if you want to run the files having, uh, which has these words in the name, having, let's say in this example, I'm saying one and two, so it will run the files that have one or two in the file name. So something like I can say, I can just say npx playwright test, and I will say example. So it will pick up the file in which, which has the name, which has example in the name and it will start running the file. And you can see it is executing our test file. Then we can also uh, run a specific test by saying minus G and give the title of the uh, test. So let us say if I go if I go in my file, the test file, and here, this is my test, which has this title. Now, don't worry about how these tests are created in the session when we, where we learn how to create test, how to write test. I will show you all this, all the syntax and everything. But for now, let us say this is the test and this is our title. Homepage has playwright in title. I will copy this and then I will go to my terminal and here I will say npx playwright test and I will use the minus g option. So I will say npx playwright test and minus g and then I will give the title. So this is the title. So it will pick up that particular test from the file and it will start executing. So you can see it is now running the test. So while it is running, let us go and check the next command. So here, this is the next command. So if you want to run on, on a specific browser, you can say hyphen hyphen project and give the browser. So I can say npx playwright, playwright test, and then I will use the option hyphen hyphen project. And I will say Chromium and hit enter. And this time you will see it will execute on a single browser. So you can see running one test using one worker and it is running on that particular browser only. If I check the report now, you will see that the execution has happened on a single browser. So here you can see a single test got executed. If I see and go inside, you can see it's only, it has executed on Chromium only. So you can, select a browser like this. Then if you want to run in a headed mode, headed means you will see the physical browser by default, all execution is done in a headless mode. That is no GUI, no physical browser comes up on the screen. It happens at the back end, and it is good for automation. It saves a lot of time and memory, but still, if you want to see, you can use the option headed. So I can say here, let me stop this control C and Y clear. I can say, I want to use Chrome and then I will say hyphen hyphen headed. So I want to run in a headed mode and I will press enter. And now you will see the physical browser on the screen. So you can see it is now running. It was very fast because in the test, it just goes to the playwright website and checks the title. So you can see the browser has come up. Browser was up and we could see the test running. Now the next is 
the debug option. So whenever you want to troubleshoot, you want to debug, you can use the hyphen hyphen debug option. Now I will have a separate video on how to troubleshoot and debug, and we will see more options there. But for now, if I have to debug, I can say NPX playwright test. And let us say, I just want to use uh, Chrome only, and I will say debug now in debug because we have to see and then we have to watch and then troubleshoot therefore by default when we run in a debug mode it will run in a headed mode that is the browser will come up so if i press enter you will see the browser will come up and it will run our test and now you will see it has actually paused it has not gone forward it has just opened the browser and you will see here a playwright inspector window has opened. So this is a playwright inspector. And you can see here, it highlights the step where it has paused. And then we have all these options. So we can resume, we can pause, we can step over. Step over means going to the next step. So we can do step-by-step -step debugging. So I will click on this step over and you will see it goes to the next step and it has gone to playwright.dev. The next step is it will uh, check for the title. I will again say, step over and it has gone next step and then again next and then it will click on get started and then the last step and then it will stop so this is how you can do debugging and in debugging we can create breakpoints we can uh, make breakpoints in our script and then do debugging all that i will show you in the debugging session and then uh, we can debug a specific test file. So all these options we can also use, most of these options we can use uh, along with each other. For example, here, this is the command to run a specific file and then we have used debug with it. So this also we can do. Then uh, here, we have an option. If you want to debug starting with a specific line or a specific test, then we can use colon and the line number and the line number should be the start of some specific test. Let me show you. This is very interesting. I will go to my test file and this is my test. Let me copy this test and paste it again in the same file so that you will come to know exactly what is happening. So I have copied and pasted the test in the same file and in the this copy test, I will change the title. I will say this is demo test and I will save by pressing control S or you can go to file and then save from here. Now in the, and you can see this test starts from line number 23. So now I will go to the terminal and now I will say, I will go to the earlier commands and here I will point to a specific test file. So I will say, I want to go to tests folder and then I want to run this example.spec.js file. And then I will say colon 23. So I want to start debugging from the test, which starts from line number 23. And I have already used the debug flag debug option here. So let us start and let's now see. So you can see it is running a single test, not two tests, because uh, there were two tests in the file, but it is not taking the earlier test. It is running the single test. And if you see the inspector, the playwright inspector, you can see it has skipped the earlier test and it is now starting with this test that is our demo test. So this also you can do. And I will press Control C to stop this. And then we have commands to record our test that all we will run when we learn how to write the test. And these are all the commands. If you want, you can take a screenshot of this screen, keep it handy with you on your mobile or desktop screens and go through it several times so that you will understand all these commands. And as we go along this session, you will remember all these commands. I hope this was very useful for you. If you have any questions, you have any doubts, you can let me know in the comment section. Do take the quiz, the link will be in the description and I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.